In this video, I'll be showing you how I make a ruched tankini top. First, we can go over the materials that we'll need to make this top. A sewing machine, a serger, and if you don't have a serger, I made a video on how to make bikinis with a sewing machine, and I'll leave that in the description box below. Polyester or woolly nylon thread, elastic application serger foot, swimsuit elastic, I like to use clear elastic to make my bikinis, pins and or sewing clips if you'd like to use them, fabric weights, a pattern, and I have my pattern listed in the description box if you'd like to follow along exactly, a rotary cutter, fabric scissors, a seam ripper, and swimsuit fabric. I'm using two different fabrics today since I'm making this top reversible. You'll also need something to mark your fabric with, an acrylic ruler, and a loop turner. You should have a front Front piece and a back piece of your pattern and you'll need to cut out two front pieces and two back pieces of the first fabric and two front pieces and two back pieces of the second fabric. In here I'm cutting out two straps at one and a quarter of an inch by 24 inches for a small and then I'll cut out my pattern pieces. After you cut everything out, you should have a front piece and a back piece of one fabric and a front piece and a back piece for the other fabric. And just place the matching pattern pieces of the other fabric on top so that right sides are facing. Then add elastic to the serger and serge the top and bottom edge of both pieces. We can also serge the strap, fold the strap in half long ways and serge that edge with elastic attached. And if you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial on how I make bikini straps, I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. Once you've serged the straps, you can use the loop turner to turn them right side out and place them to the side. And this is what your pieces will look like after you've serged the top and bottom edge. And next, use a seam ripper to create a hole in the seam on the back piece about an inch or so wide, just big enough to be able to turn the piece right side out. Next, flip both pieces right side out. And place the top piece on top of the bottom piece so that matching fabrics are touching. I flipped it around so that I could see better. Next, tuck one side inside of the other. It doesn't matter which side you choose to do first. Just make sure that the matching fabrics are lined up right so when you open it up, the fabric should match. Use a pin to pin down the side that you tucked in. And use your fingers to pinch down on top of the pin. Once you have all layers of fabric secure in your fingers, you can take out the pin and flip the fabric so that it is inside out. The piece tucked inside will still be right side out. You can unpinch your fingers and start lining up the edges of the fabric. And once all four layers of fabric are lined up, you could start pinning the side down. And then sew down where you pin about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. And this is what your piece will look like once you've sewed down that edge. And next you can flip the piece so that it's right side out and do the same for the other side. So tuck one piece inside of the other and pin it down. But this time, since we don't have an open side, I'm going to use the hole that I made with the seam ripper to pull the fabric. Use my fingers to pinch on top of the pin. And once I have all layers of fabric secure in between my fingers, I can take the pin out and pull all layers of fabric out of the hole. The outer layers of fabric will be inside out and the one on the inside will be right side out. And here I'm just lining up the layers of fabric. And once all four layers of fabric are lined up, you could start pinning the side down. and then sew about a quarter of an inch away from the edge.
And this is what the piece will look like once that side is sewn down. And next, use the hole that we made in the seam to turn the piece completely right side out. And now we need to add the straps. Fold the piece in half and mark the center on the front piece. Once you have the center marked, make another mark about a quarter of an inch to the right and to the left. Of that mark. Next decide how far down you want your strap to be sewn into the top and I'm doing mine about three inches from the top edge so I'll make a mark about three inches from the top edge Once I've marked three inches from the top edge, I'll use the acrylic ruler to create dotted lines from the top to that three inch mark for all three marks. Next, use a seam ripper to create a hole a half an inch wide from the first marking you made to the last marking that was made. And once you're finished with that, you can use your sewing machine to sew a straight stitch over the dotted lines that you made. Just make sure that when you're sewing over the hole that you're keeping the fabric folded inside and you're catching all layers of fabric. And this is what your piece will look like once you've sewn those three lines. And next, use your seam ripper to create a small hole in the bottom of the front piece in order to feed your straps through. It doesn't have to be that large, just big enough for your strap to fit through. And once you've done that, use your loop turner to go through the top of one of the tunnels that you created and bring it out through the hole you just created with the seam ripper. Connect the strap and pull the strap through to where it's right at that three inch mark of the tunnel. And do the same thing for the other tunnel with the other strap. So the ends of the strap should be right at the ends of the tunnels. And next, use the sewing machine to straight stitch directly across the ends of both tunnels, making sure that you sew directly over the straps. And this is what the piece will look like once you've added the straps. And next, tie the ends of the straps in knots and close up the holes that you made with the seam ripper earlier. You can either hand sew them closed to keep everything seamless or you can use your sewing machine to top stitch directly on top. And once you do that, you're completely finished with this top. I love how comfortable and stylish this top is. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.